Rush. That's such a great name for a band or an artist. But Rush. It's just... I don't know. Every time I just think of their name, <sighs> today we are reacting to "Subdivisions" by Rush. Next song in the Rush journey. Always excited to listen to Rush. Big fan of Rush. I have a toothache that's killing me. If you've ever had a toothache, you know. This is worse than any other pain that you can have, bro. I don't care if you stomach virus, foot hurt, back hurt. I don't care what pain. Tooth pain is the worst. But I'm going to gut through it because I said I would. Rush subdivisions. Let's go. So I love, I see where we're going with it. Subdivisions, the way they're showing the houses, uh, subdivisions of society, um, you know, showing the, the loners and stuff like that. I love that. I just love that 80s, just that 80s futuristic. Every song sound like it could be in Back to the Future. Which I plan on reacting to, by the way. It's been a long time since I reacted to that movie. I thoroughly remember and enjoyed the first one. I, I never watched the second and third one, I don't think. Um, but boy, I just love that sound. Just that. Dun, 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 and I know that's the synthesizer and all that, but it's just, it's such a pleasing, joyful sound. And Getty sounds amazing, but that's nothing new.
And y'all told me that Rush had their own video game and you played their music in the video game. For one, that's fire. Two, th- their music just sounds so... It's, it just reminds me of an arcade. It just does. Anytime I hear Rush, I think arcade. I think Mortal Kombat. I think Street Fighter. I think any game that you could play in an arcade, that's what I feel. You know, the music that plays on, on a pin, uh, pinball machine. Like I, I just feel like going into an arcade. It's just, man... Rest in peace to Neil Pert, man. Rush. Their music. I mean, I've I've definitely used every. Any way that I could describe them, I have. And I just feel like it's not enough. Rush. That music is like insightful, but fun. Energetic, but tamed. But not tamed in a way that's like controlled or anything. It's it's a tame, um, digestible. Because with all the synthesizers, listen, it's a lot of 80s music that doesn't float my boat, regardless of the genre. And it's because the 80s was just, it was just so much going on. It's a lot, synthesizers synthesizers and just everything. It's a lot of 80s music that's kind of hit or miss with me. Rush, their ability to use so many different sounds but compose it in a way that's digestible. That is impressive. I love their use of the synthesizer with just the natural instruments that they play, bass, guitar, and drums. And it's, I mean, they can make a song about anything. Made a song about the radio. I mean, it doesn't matter. It just sounds good it just sounds good i i don't know what else to say and now i'm losing my voice my voice cracking i still got this too thick i'm gonna just wrap this up all i can say is this request more rush because i want to hear more that's it as always like comment subscribe i appreciate y'all for watching until next time with rush peace